Hey guys, it's Barry at Fire Nice Outdoors, and I just got a brand new camper. It's a toy hauler, and come to find out, when you buy a new camper, it doesn't come with a battery. Let me tell you how much that sucks. So if you're wanting to use this, it doesn't work. If you want to use the lights, they don't work. The heater, doesn't work. Without a battery, your refrigerator doesn't work. If you don't have a battery, your hot water heater doesn't work. So that sucks. So when you get a new camper, we have to get a battery. And you need a case to fit on that tray. So this is a battery video and we'll install it. Let's talk about it. So Destin sent me this battery for RVs. It's Bluetooth. It is a Life PO4. It's 12.8. This is really good for RVs if you're wanting to be off grid. If you correlated this to um, one of those solar generators, there it's a, a 1280 watt system. You can't just use this. You've got to you've got to have a case. Mine, I actually got a bigger case because I might could do more with it in the future you'll need one of these. Looks like a planter box. This has got to be around seven and a half. But um, if it says RV, it's made for it. So this is a little big. This is what it came with. And this is just the foam that held this in. Let me get a little bit big. I'm just guessing here. We're doing this together. There we go. I just wanted it bigger because I might use it for, there might be other things that could go in here. Company send me stuff, but yeah. All right, so that's perfect. It does come, you put this on like that. It's got these little slits right here on both sides where you got your, um, your power goes in. This makes that heavy. So it does come with terminals and your manual. I just wanted to let you know that this does have a five year warranty with it. You'll have straps. There's no screwing or anything with this. You put this on and this actually straps down the box. Everything's all put together. So let's go install this. So first thing you wanna do, this thing has solar. It's got uh, 200 watts of solar. Some of them come with 100 watts, but right now the sun is out and it's actually making those lines have power to them because it's, it's sending power to it. What you need to do is find your control panel. And uh, mine's right here. And you see that right there? Let's just unplug it. Let's take that out. Come on. Got it. All right, let's get this thing set up. Just taking that off so there is no power going to these these lines anymore. I got them taped off because I didn't want them to, to ground out or hurt anything. So, all right, let's put this bad boy in. So it's got this little bracket and this should fit. It should be snug. There we go. Boom. We are in there. That inside here. Like that. It's got these little knobs. I'm gonna pull those off. Hopefully all this will fit. The wires will fit. I'm trying to get this down. So these come with these little screws. And it's a 13 millimeter. There we go. Come on. There's no power to this. So. But I've got all this hot sun, so I'm super excited about getting this thing charged up. There we go. All right, and then gotta do the other side. And there it is. Dude, this isn't hard at all. Boom. It's got these little knots, this lip raise here, and that's where the wires will go. Put that right there. Boom, all right. Then we got the straps, let's put the straps on. So it's got these little reliefs right up on the top here. I don't know if I want to, well, I might. Let's, what I'm going to do is strap the wires as well. You open this up, stick that right through. Like that. Put this through the back side. Like that. So now all you do is you just tighten. Pull this forward. All right. Put that little clamp up. Well, that 
is not going anywhere. Now, let's plug in the, cause we've got 14 volts going into it right now. But let's plug this in to that little thing over there. It's always spooky cause you're playing with electricity. All right, that's plugged in. I don't smell no smoke, nothing getting hot. Let's see if everything's working. Dude, that's freaking awesome. Oh, look, Luke's got lights already. Nice. We've got now AC can't run because of, um, it's, it's a, Oh, 110, 120 thing. But the AC is the only thing that won't run. Uh, I can have heat. Boom. I've got hot water. I've got regular running water. The pump will run. Dude, oh, just having that working is so awesome. It's putting 13 volts into it right now through the sun because the sun is crazy right now. Um, let's talk about that battery real quick. We'll wrap this video up. Oh no, let's look at the, uh, let's do let's do the app. Let's try the app. All right, so boom. All right, dude, that's pretty cool. Well, it's only one person rated it. Um, typically, they're not rated really well. So that's nice. Let's download this, we'll be right back. I guess that might be the QR code for it because you can download that. I already have downloaded that, so. Anyway, let's uh let's talk about this battery real quick. Real quick, this is just information from Amazon, pros and cons through reviews, and then my own personal information. So key features, the capability and voltage is a 12 volt, 100 amp hour, approximately 1280 watts of usable energy. It's a life PO4 lithium ion phosphate known for safety and long cycling anywhere from over 3,000 cycles 3,000 to 5,000 which is a huge jump but that's what they're saying it has low temp protection charging cuts off at 32 Fahrenheit that could be a bad thing I'll, we'll get into pros and cons here it's got a five-year warranty with lifetime customer service this is really good for RVs camping household uh, solar or off-grid power uh, the pros are it is a lot Life Po 4 battery that has a typical lasting charge cycle of 3,000 to 5,000. I was telling that, that that's a pro, but it's a huge jump as well. A lot longer than lead acid. It's lightweight. It actually is very light. That's absolutely a shock to me how, how light that is. Some cons is returning the battery is restricted. And I don't even know if that's the company. When you're returning a battery, UPS, it, it, the carriers don't like it. The temperature is limited, cannot be charged anything below 32 degrees. Like I'm here in the South and it got down to 28, it would not be able to charge it. The product must be carefully managed. Improper use will avoid the uh, warranty. Just use it for your RV. It has a manual to show you how to wire it if you want to do in series or parallel with backup power or anything like that. So overall, it's not a bad, it's not a bad battery. I actually don't mind it at all. It's lightweight, $169 is what it's running right now. And then they got a Black Friday sale if you're near Thanksgiving right now. Again, it's a, the LifePo 4 model, which is, it's just better. It's a better battery. So if you want one of those batteries, I'll put it below. If you want one of those boxes, I'll put it below as well. I hope this helps you. It's very simple to put in. It makes it it's such a freaking different when having a camper with power in it. Uh, it absolutely sucks to have to pull out a cord, unravel it, put it, plug it in. Cause as soon as you plug it in, all that stuff will work again. Yeah. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this is useful for you and I'll talk to you later. Bye.